California real estate pricing is through the freaking roof. As such, you're here because a lot of people just like you are coming to markets like Cleveland to pick up houses like this. Blue collar investments for a fraction of the price. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV. If this is the first time you've ever been here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button or follow button or like button on whatever social media platform you're at. If you're on our website, subscribe to our mailing list, right? Because we help investors from all over the world invest in low-cost rental real estate. We are a real estate brokerage, property manager, general contractor. We own insurance companies, title companies. We have everything. We even got financing lined up for you guys, right? So it's the one-stop shop, the full turnkey solution to help investors like you buy properties in cheap markets, markets that are cheaper than what they can afford, right? We get a lot of people from California. The pricing in California is just mind-boggling, right? And that's why my man Joe's here. Joe, you're uh, running a grocery store out there in L.A., right? You got 20 k in cash, pre-approved for a $60,000 home, okay? You're going to get the other, the rest of that money via a mortgage, okay? And I got another one for you, brother. I sent you two, and then this is the third one, right? All these properties priced higher than the 60 k but I'm going to try to see if we can't submit offers on all of them to try to get one of these three deals locked down for you, brother. This one, 244 East 238th, Euclid, another B-class neighborhood, dude. All three of these B-class areas, all right? It's been on the market a little over a month, priced at $73,999. Now, this is a nice house, dude. They took a bunch of photos right before they put their tenant in there. So, you know, just traditional blue-collar, uh, you know, rental properties, right? This, this is what we want. This is totally adequate. This is totally cool, dude. All right, decent little home, okay? This is what uh, the listing agent had to say. Beautiful open concept home features everything on one floor. Gorgeous kitchen with newer counters and eat in area with lovely wood flooring, living room and bedrooms with neutral carpet and paint colors. Lovely updated bathroom with tub. She's really selling it. <laughs> lovely updated bathroom with tub shower. Uh, blah blah. Where was I? Two bedrooms plus extra room for office playroom, etc. Master bedroom has walk-in closet, washer dryer hookup. Right off the kitchen, new windows, investor special, currently tenant occupied until November 30th, 2021. Tenant paying $775 a month plus $75 towards water sewer, POS, and supplements, buyer to assume the POS. We are not going to try to assume the POS, though, right? This is pretty darn nice. We're going to try to get them to assume the POS, right? They wrote that a month ago, uh, I think after a month on the market. They've already done some price drops. I feel like uh, they are now coming to the realization that they have overpriced their property. So we're going to try to pick it up at 60 with them paying for the POS. That was the plan of attack on the other two properties, right? I believe this bidding strategy for you, Joe, is going to result in you getting one $60,000 property with a clear POS in one of these three areas. Now, of uh, the tenant's rent, right? First of all, they said the tenant is paying $775 plus $75 towards water sewer. So that's $850, right? Uh, Eight fifty comes in, ten thousand two hundred uh, for the year, right? On my chart here, you see you should be spending a total expense of six thousand four hundred seventy-one every year on average to operate this, leaving you with three thousand seven hundred twenty-nine. Now you see in here, I got the rent seventy-five higher to account for that seventy-five towards water sewer, and I've accounted for a seventy-five dollar water charge to you. Here is the thing you need to understand, and I have info on this on my fact, Joe, on HoltonWise.com. So, some landlords that own properties don't understand how things work. You get like mom and pop landlords, things of that nature. They don't understand how things work. But the way things work in the Cleveland area with the uh, landlord-tenant laws and the way the Cleveland Division of Water works, you can't actually have the tenants – uh, be responsible for the water sewer. It actually has to remain in your name. If they don't pay it, it gets added on to your property tax bill as a lien. Uh, and, you know, having them pay it separately – uh, it doesn't make sense because then you run into issues of not being able to evict them for partial payments, blah, blah, blah. The whole thing's a mess if you try to separately bill your tenants. It's amateur hour. Uh, people that don't know what they're doing, you know, they write stuff up like that all confusing, right? So the moral of the story is 
You're going to pay the water sewer. We're going to have the tenants rent be 850 okay? And more info on all of that is going to be on our fact on HoltonWise.com. Now, that's, of course, going to require a new lease from the tenant. I know the tenant is leased up until November 30th, 2021. Uh, so if the tenant was somehow against that, uh, I guess we'd have to do it the other way. But let me tell you this, because you have to honor existing leases, guys, but there's nothing that says per Ohio law, right? There's nothing that says uh, per Ohio law, though, that tenants cannot sign a new lease voluntarily. Hey, lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. In uh, you know all my years of doing this, almost never, very few and far between, has a tenant ever not wanted to just have the uh, water sewer built into the rent so long as uh, we didn't increase it or anything of that nature. So uh, we've probably done this hundreds hundreds of times. Maybe only like one or two tenants gave us an issue, right? So there uh, will be no problem switching that over to the correct way, okay? Just to clarify all that for you, right? Because I know that uh, the water sewer payments and how that process all works out really throws investors off, right? It's just something unique to our market based on how those companies operate. Again, more info on all of that because, you know, it's 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 weird. It's screwed up. But more info on all that's on my fact. I dedicated a whole section to it, okay? So check that out. So with that NOI of 3729 at the 60 k target price point, bro, that's a 10% cash-on-cash cash return with a 6.2 cap. And then again, uh, there's a little meat on the bone on this one, just like with the other properties. Not as much, though. Uh, the market rent on the other properties is going all the way as high as 1000 because those are three bedrooms. This one's going to cap out about 900 right? So they're paying 850 So we got about $50 a wiggle room in the future, uh, but that will pretty much be the cap, right? So any one of these three, though, Joe, I think is going to be perfect for you. Uh, of course, all of them are going to require some things to go in our favor. we got to get some sellers off of their prices, but that's why we're – Going after three, we're doing due diligence on three. The goal is to get you one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.